Pat Downs are all the talk of the state capitol today as Governor Rick Perry just added the controversial anti-groping bill to the special session. This measure failed in the regular session, but it's expected to pass this time around. And that means TSA agents who cross the line could face a $4,000 fine up to a year in jail, too. Today, TSA said it's reviewing the bill. But if the measure compromises security, officials at TSA say they'll take whatever legal action is appropriate to ensure travelers are safe when they fly from Texas or any other state. And the U.S. Department of Justice has told lawmakers TSA would likely be required to cancel any flight or series of flights for which it could not ensure the safety of passengers and crew. KXAN's political reporter Josh Hinkle here with us now. And how would that move by TSA affect airports here? We'll just take a look at Austin Bergstrom International Airport. If TSA shut down your flight there but you still needed to get in the air, you'd have to travel to one of the other major airports in Texas. The closest drives would be to San Antonio, Houston, and Dallas, anywhere between 75 and 215 miles away. And if TSA shut down flights in Texas altogether, you'd have to drive out of state. Looking at the closest states, your best bets are Alexandria, Louisiana at 364 miles away or Oklahoma City at 388 miles away. This is what we're trying to prevent, or at least most of a few questions. After patting down the author of the bill on the House floor. Members, members, please. You're offending Mr. Simpson. Lawmakers were well on their way to grabbing attention for what some see as a violation of privacy. Can he touch himself? <laughs> for some, a laughing matter. That's my wife's privilege. And for others, a serious security threat. It's sort of what has to happen, I think, in this in this day and age. It's certainly something that could change things here in Austin. ABIA has an average 134 departures a day, with about 12,000 passengers going through its security checkpoints. I, I can't imagine I looked like that much of a threat. Passengers like Meg Glasgoff, who says she went through a pat down when she was pregnant with her oldest daughter. Um, it seemed a little invasive. It seemed inappropriate. Grandma knows. Grandma. Protesters over the last few months agree, despite a federal threat to cancel flights in Texas. That caused Representative David Simpson to add something to his bill. Instead of going into effect immediately, TSA would have 90 days. They'll have time to rewrite their procedures. There's no federal statute requiring that they grope our private parts as a condition of travel. But so far, TSA is resisting, something that killed the bill before, and might make some like Glasgow change their minds too. Well, I guess I can't be in support of that then. <laughs> we do like to fly. The bill should come up on the House floor in the next few days, but time is running out as the special session has only eight days remaining. If Simpsons, if Simpsons bill doesn't make it through, Governor Perry could call lawmakers back again. Political analysts say this is his way of yet challenging President Obama's administration again, which could be to his own advantage in a possible presidential run. In the studio, Josh Hinkle, KXAN News. And looking in depth at the impact an air traffic shutdown could have in Austin, each year, passengers bringing in more than $83 million for ABIA. That money goes largely toward improvement projects at the airport. TxDOT says the airport also generates more than $2 billion for the surrounding area's economy. Before